Hey guys, what's up? It's the third night here, and I've got some absolutely awesome news for you all. And that is that flowering is going to be a reportable offense. And yeah, this is some other really nice news, but that's basically the main awesome news. You can see there is a post here on the main homepage. Also, I do apologize. I'm just going to say it now. Apologize if this spans up your sub box. I know I, was, I literally just uploaded a video on about like discussing the current or the first player poll and like the content and stuff being voted for and that. So if you haven't checked that video out, definitely go check it out now. Hopefully I haven't like screwed it all up by spamming up the sub box. Anyway, this is very important. That's why I'm doing it. Otherwise I wouldn't be making this video. And yeah, so there's a uh, there's a post on the main RuneScape homepage right here called Dealing with Games of Chance. Um, on the old school RuneScape homepage, there isn't a post yet, but I'm sure that that will be changed um, very shortly. Like I said, this update literally just come out came out and here you've got a system update um, forum post by mod nexus basically it just talks about how there's like something some little you know click slash input lag that was sort of fixed when you held down arrow keys or control for too long um, and also they also talked about this which says also as part of the recent policy change and addition of a new rule to runescape we've taken a unified stance across both versions with regard to this matter Therefore, we've changed various random items that were used for player run games of chance in old school RS to match the changes in RuneScape. As player run games of chance are now against the rules, you can and should use the encouraging rule breaking option for reporting players who attempt to host these events. So it is now a reportable offense to do any sort of gambling games within RuneScape. Absolutely fucking brilliant. Good fucking fight, dices, dice host, fucking flowering little pricks you guys freaking yeah you're gonna get banned or you can't do it anyway so suck shit um basically this is awesome rs is definitely not the place for this sort of gambling it's a 60 40 chance i think it was for the hosts anyway if you want to do that sort of thing you've got staking but nothing i've got nothing against staking i've i've done a bit of staking in the past but yeah like i said nothing against staking but this this is different really freaking awesome they're banning it also says here for more information, see Mod Pips latest development blog in the old school RuneScape general section. I think I want to marry Mod Pips. Look at what he has to say here. This is just uh, love you. Uh. Anyway, hey, in this development blog, I want to talk about how we're planning to safeguard the integrity of the old school RuneScape, especially the what what sort of word is that? It says burgeoning burgeoning community in game economy. Sorry, I haven't heard of that word before. My vocabulary, I guess maybe it's small. I don't know. I've never heard of that word, so I apologize for that. That that word just represents how awesome Mod Pips is. Basically, the game games of chance. I'll just read this out. You know, if you're slaying or whatever, you can just listen to this in the background. But this is fucking awesome news. The t first topic is games of chance, also known as hosting, flower games, or dicing. This has been a major topic of concern for players, with as much, if not more, demand for action from the old school RuneScape community. As you may have seen in the news post on the main RuneScape site, we've added a new rule against a new rule, sorry, against player run games of chance. And as with all rules, this applies across the main and old school games. To quote the rule, you must not advertise, organize, promote, or participate in player run games of chance where money where game money or items are staked on the outcome of a random activity. Players caught doing this will receive a strike against their account, escalating from muting to temp banning to a last resort permanent ban. Today we've also patched the old school game with a couple of tweaks to support this new rule. A right click report abuse shortcut has been added so it is quicker to report any players who are breaking the rules. We recommend using the encouraging rule breaking entry to report players involved with games of chance. We've also tweaked the behavior of items such as mithril seeds and toy horses so they cannot readily be used for games of chance. As an urgent policy level change to the game rules and rel relating to player safety, this update has not been put to a poll. Yes, I felt it was important to make the old school game equally resistant to those wanting to run games of chance so that it would not be vulnerable to hosts looking for an alternate venue to ply their now illicit trade. We've listened to the very passionate calls to stamp out hosted games of chance and hope the community will rally around this and help us keep it out of the game for good. Absolutely awesome. See, two things that are absolutely brilliant about Mod Pips. Look at his character. You know, he's got blue hair. That's absolutely amazing. Second thing, he's jumped onto this so fast. You know, the flowering and stuff. That was in the game. That was in the main game for so long. They, ha they you know, they patched it a bit in the EOC beta. 
but it's been in the EOC servers for absolutely ages. It nothing's been done about it. It's too little, too late there. But Mod Pips has jumped right onto this. You know, it's it's finally being fixed in the main game. I mean, that's part of the reason, obviously, if it hadn't been fixed in the main game, this would have, you know, been probably maybe a bit slow for the 07 game. But now that it's being fixed, Mod Pips has jumped onto this straight away. It's happening in 07 as well. It's not going to happen. There's not going to be any player hosts and all that sort of shit. It's all going out of the game, and that's absolutely brilliant. Just as 07 has been coming out, and it's absolutely vital that they would have done this early, and they have, and that's just absolutely brilliant. This is this is just such a good RuneScape update. Also, this is another brilliant thing, and oh, it's so good. Love love mod pips, man. But the second topic I want to talk about: but the use of illegal third-party programs inside RuneScape. We are definitely aware there is an issue and that bots are becoming more common inside the game. This is something we take incredibly seriously, especially at the early stages of the old school economy. Look at that, jumping straight into it. At the early stages of the old school economy, he's making sure that none of this shit is getting into this game. You want to minimize all this sort of crap. Everybody knows it's bad for the economy. I made a video on it as soon as I saw bots and it is so bad for the economy. Everybody knows that. And it's got to go. It's got to go. And they're, straight away, they're listening to the community. They're seeing what's happened, and they want to fix the problem. In the last week, we've been manually banning several thousand botting accounts a day, but obviously, we are not keeping up. Listen to that. Manually banning several thousand botting accounts. That is, what more could you ask for? That's absolutely brilliant. There are people there who are manually banning the bots. That didn't happen. You know, they didn't say anything about that on the main server. I'm not trying to take the piss on the main server either. I'm just saying it was too little too late there. I mean, that's just completely unlucky that they didn't do this. The fact that they're doing this on the old school server, Mod Pips is an absolute legend for... I don't know, I don't know whether he was behind this. I'm just assuming he was. But this is absolutely essential. You know, as soon as our, our old school economy has come up, bots have come into the game and stuff, and now they're getting onto this shit, and that's absolutely brilliant. I'll continue reading. We're currently in the process of integrating a portion of the bot watch tech into old school RuneScape, and then we can progressively roll out more specific and automated bot and spam detection algorithms over the coming weeks and months. Oh, so good. There's also been a lot of gold spammers and stuff on World 1, a lot more increasing, which is really great that they've said all that as well. Players have asked us, what can I do to help? And there are several things. Make use of the report abuse tool and the new right clicking right click report shortcut. While we may not be able to manually ban all bots in real time, this tool also feeds us data which help us to hone the bot detection so software. Don't participate in activities related to botting. Running a bot yourself as well as placing your account at risk of a perm ban it makes you more vulnerable to account hijacking, damages the game economy and the old school experience for others. Also, the less the demand for black market gold, the smaller the supply from gold farmers will be. Similarly, don't condone such behavior from others and make bot use and real world trading socially unacceptable. Let your friends and clanmates know that you think buying gold or using bots is wrong and won't be tolerated. Couldn't be said better. Brilliant forum post. Absolutely gold. Abs absolute gold. <laughs> anyway, that's a bit lame. But still, this is so good. This is... Oh, such good stuff. This is exactly what RuneScape needs. This is exactly what Old School needs. I don't know why this guy isn't in charge of RuneScape. This guy should have been making updates all along. His just completely jumped straight onto the gun. He's absolutely got everything down pat. Um, I'll just read this last player mods thing. I'm not sure what this is for. I haven't actually read this bit yet, but it might be something interesting. The third topic is player mods. The player moderators who keep an eye out for rule breaking in the game and escalate serious issues to JGX moderators. There are a significant amount of active player mods in old school as their mod status carried over from the main game. We are going to be recruiting more player mods, especially specifically for old school RuneScape and we'll post in the forums with news of when this starts in the near future. As you can see, we're taking action in various ways to safeguard the game integrity. It won't be necessarily it won't necessarily be easy and we'll need your support and feedback to help us be effective over the longer term. So as always, please let us know your thoughts and ideas so you can obviously go to a forum thread and like post different ideas and stuff there. So good, absolutely brilliant, like, just the fact, also, here's how, how it's been talked about here, you know, don't condone, you know, that sort of behavior, it really is a community, like, if, if you guys don't buy, if you don't buy gold from, like, gold farming sites, so gold farming sites won't go and go get RS gold, you know, people won't run the game that way, but just all this stuff, like, manually banning botting accounts, that is brilliant, that's what, that's exactly what <laughs> RuneScape needs, I mean, sure, they might not be able to keep up with the numbers of the bots, but they're making a difference, and that's good. That's that's a decent difference, and they're there trying. They're not sitting back 
working on their botting software, then releasing it six months later after there have been bots in the game for all that time and absolutely ruining the economy. It's absolutely vital and it's absolutely brilliant what they've been doing here. So hands off. Um, I'm not going to clap because that sounds like I'm fapping. So anyway, absolutely brilliant. That's all for this video. Once again, if you haven't already, go check out the poll discussion video I made earlier. It would be really cool to have your feedback and stuff on that. And I didn't want to spam the sub box, so that might have happened because I've obviously gone to the... Um, I've obviously started, obviously started uploading this video and stuff uh, pretty much straight after that one was uploaded. So yeah, absolutely awesome. Anyway, fuck you dices. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next video.